I'm Grant Petty, I'm the CEO of Blackmagic Design and we make uh, video products which we build in Port Melbourne here and we sell them all over the world. Mostly the products are used for TV commercials and uh, feature films. Hi, I'm Dave Jones and I'm the host of the Electronics Engineering video blog and I do a regular weekly or twice weekly uh, video blog for electronics engineers, hobbyists, hackers, makers, uh, anyone involved in the electronics industry at all. My name is Gary Johnston. I'm the owner of JCAR Electronics and a number of associated companies. We are basically in the Australian New Zealand region in a retail sense. We've got about 70 plus stores. We primarily sell non-consumer merchandise, products that hobbyists and professional electronic users need. We've been going for uh, 29 years. My name is uh, Andrew Graypatch. I'm the Vice President of Business Development here at Solana. Solana is the only semiconductor many manufacturer in Australia and a lot of people ask what semiconductors are, are more commonly known as silicon chips so we have the only manufacturing facility here in Australia which is a surprise to a lot of people. Well I'm the publisher of one of the very few electronics magazines in the world. It's called Silicon Chip. A lot of people associate that with computers. In fact, silicon chips are associated with every piece of electronic equipment that we have, whether it's phones, microwave ovens, cars, it doesn't really matter. Electronics is ubiquitous. My name is Eugene Raffalo. Rockby Electronics is a family owned business. I started the company about uh, 23 years ago. We sell electronic components as well as finished products. We sell to hobbyists right through to manufacturers. My name is John Spencer and uh, I, I was employed by CSIRO, Division of Building Research. I was a user of CIRAC from 1959 until its decommission in 1964. My name's Jonathan Oxer. I work with both hardware and software. As a hobbyist, I love hacking around with electronics, just trying to make it do things that the makers never intended or come up with new designs myself. For a big kid like me, it's a lot like Lego, and I just love playing with it. My name's Peter Atanakovic. I'm working for Solana. I'm the chief scientist here. Typically, we're working on growing some quite interesting semiconductors, anywhere from 100 to 1,000 layers of uh, silicon atoms on a sapphire surface. We make silicon transistors on this insulating sapphire substrate. We're recently embarking upon making these uh, devices work as optical structures as well for uh, solar cells and detectors and various other uh, components. My name's Doug Ford. Uh, I've set up a company called Doug Ford Analog Design, which oddly enough does analog electronics design. I've worked for a variety of companies. Jan's at the stage I was with them manufactured pretty much everything related to putting on a rock show or a stage performance. The audio power amplifiers, the mixing consoles, speakers, lighting dimmers, lighting control consoles and a whole plethora of little odd jobs. I went to Rode Microphones designing studio condenser microphones. I'm particularly proud of what I did there. My name's Claire Gervasoni. I'm the curator of the historical collection at the University of Ballarat. We have many hidden treasures here and one of them is Henry Sutton, one of our lecturers in electricity and magnetism. He was a great inventor. My name is Bill Petrowski, um, the principal advisor on the technology industry at the Australian Industry Group. The Australian Industry Group is a employer representative body and I look after all the uh, technology based companies that range from telecommunications companies to software type companies as well as uh, manufacturers of hardware and electrical equipment. My name originally was Kay Sullivan. I came to Sarek virtually straight from school. Well, Sarek was a huge advance over the calculating machines, which was all they had. It was the most stimulating environment I've ever worked in. So my name is Matthew Pryor, and I'm the CEO of Observant. Observant builds monitoring and control systems for improving water use efficiency in agriculture. I'm Andrew Griffiths, and I'm with Resurrection Radio. We restore vintage valve technology and early transistor equipment, and we also do wind-up gramophones, so we can organise anything from 1900 to about 1990. My name's uh, Andy Jolly. I'm a software engineer with a keen uh, interest in electronics, um, a hobbyist uh, around digital computers, I guess. Also one of the founders of the Melbourne Hackerspace. Hackerspace is a worldwide organisation that uh, encourages and promotes hacking or playing with electronics, uh, software, mechatronics, robotics, and uh, encourage people to learn and pull things apart, put them together in new and unusual ways. My name's Campbell Bickerstaff, and I'm a curator here at the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney, and have been for the last 14 years. I look after parts of the information technology collections. My name is Chris Roberts, I'm the CEO of, of Cochrane.
Medically Limited, a medical device company providing the gift of hearing to people around the world, an implantable device that stimulates the auditory nerve directly. I'm Colin Mitchell and I started a magazine called Talking Electronics. The main point in starting the magazine was to help people actually learn electronics from the very basic level and provide kits. Everything operated from my home. It was a mail order business basically, but I wanted to get people into electronics. That was the whole idea. I'm Ian O'Toole. I run the Currajong Radio Museum, which is a museum devoted to past radio technology. Broadcast studio, broadcast transmitters, studio equipment, very, very extensive collection of radios. Around 800 radios, a lot of history and a lot of radios in here. I'm Owen Hill. I'm an engineer by background, but our real fame came when we made the Australian computer called the Micro B. It was aimed at schools and at home usage, so it was one of Australia's first personal computer. My name's Ian Debnam. I'm the former curator of transport at the Powerhouse Museum, and I specialised in aviation while I was here. Now that I'm retired, I'm just a great lover of history, especially technological history. My name is uh, Dr Chris Nicholl. I'm the uh, Chief Technology Officer for Embedded Systems at NICTA which is Australia's National ICT uh, Research Centre. My name is Kevin Poulter and I've been in radio for many years. I started at High Telecommunications. Valves were still in use. Over the years I've been involved in radio in various ways, journalism, photography, currently uh, global PR for an electronics company. I also write for a number of magazines, but principally Silicon Chip because they're Australia's only electronics magazine. I'm Peter Thorne. I always wanted to be a scientist. I became I'm the weekend service engineer when I was still studying. I was later the head of the Department of Computer Science at the University of Melbourne. We knew we were at the beginning of something great. I'm Dick Smith. Most Australians would know me because I own Dick Smith Electronics. But to people overseas, I won the lottery of life. I was born in Australia in the 1940s, so I've never had to go to war. And this is a great country for basically any type of adventure. And my greatest adventure was opening a little electronics company called Dick Smith Electronics. Oh, my name's Michael Osborne, or Mike I'm usually known to my friends. I've been in electronics since the uh, 60s. First in defence science, then as a lecturer in electrical engineering, electronic design, and more recently uh, working for a company that makes sound monitoring equipment for airports, and I've been the chief designer. My name is Jeff Holden, and I'm a former curator of electronics at the Museum of Victoria. It's quite a large museum. We have a staff of around 400. It has an extensive collection of telegraphy, all sorts of technical things, and natural history. I'm Stephen Jones. Um, I've been involved in electronics and video art, things like that, for decades. I trained originally as a systems theorist at university. I was involved with a band called Seven Heads, which is an electronic dance band, electronic music band, who were very important in Australia and pretty much the rest of the world over the 80s and early 90s. We built lots of synthesizer-based stuff. We developed lots of techniques using multi-layering and compositing with analog technologies. My name is David Demant. I'm Senior Curator of Information and Communication at Museum Victoria. And as such, I'm responsible for a historic collection of computers, calculators, telephone, tele Telegraph, video machines, musical instruments, printing presses, and even magic lanterns. Well, I'm Ian McLean. I'm a radio amateur, uh, VK3JQ. Uh, I work with Rockwell Collins Australia. We're in the aviation department. We repair all the aircraft navigation, communication equipment, and audio systems as well. I used to work with AWA, and I started there as an apprentice in 1974. My name is Graham Hood. Uh, I recently completed my time as a lecturer in engineering, electrical engineering, at the University of Ballarat. My name is Yuri Samkiu. I've uh, joined the SARA team, what then was the Computational Laboratory at the University of Melbourne in late 1955. I was one of the engineers on SARA. Well, I'm Matthew Connell. I'm uh, the Curator of Computing and Mathematics here at the Powerhouse Museum. I'm also Principal Curator of Physical Sciences and Information Technology. My role as a curator is both with the collection, building and looking after the collection that we have in those fields, but it's also about taking the material in relation to the collection and telling the stories of computing, of mathematics, of information technology, both in Australia and in the world.